If all you do is play Fortnite, then the $400 PS5 Digital makes a compelling case for a budget gaming setup. Pair it with a 120Hz monitor and you got 120FPS Fortnite. But this other little box at almost half of the price as the PS5 can do the same 120F Fortnite as well. And as you saw in the thumbnail, the Series S does it better. But how in the world does it do that? Before we talk about that, this video is sponsored by Ugreen. Ugreen makes all kinds of accessories for all your electronics. Some of my favorite are their fast chargers that I can use on almost anything from my iPhone to my laptop. I have three here. One is their 45 watt fast charger. I also have a 65 watt fast charger and an even larger 100 watt fast charger. These are excellent for traveling with their foldable plugs. You can pick the best one for your needs and it'll really be the only charger you need. The 45 watt can charge up to two devices at the same time. The 65 watt one, well, that can handle three devices. And the super 100 watt unit, a total of four fast charging ports. If you want some of the best chargers or some good quality wires, check out Ugreen on Amazon. Links are in the description below. With the release of Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2, I've been playing quite a bit of it on both the Series S and PS5. I, of course, prefer 120 FPS mode and usually keep an eye on that FPS counter. With the Series S, I noted the frame rate counter is a lot more stable. I'm of course showing a side by side comparison in this video and I try to sync the gameplay as much as possible. So in both consoles, I'm at the same spot on the map trying to do the same sort of thing. The FPS counter here is the one built into the game and not some third party analysis. So there just can't be any mistakes about the numbers. I'm probably gonna get called an X bot or a liar in the comments, but I'll let the numbers speak for themselves. So watch the entire side by side gameplay and keep an eye on that FPS counter. For sure, the Series S side is a lot more stable. PlayStation 5 is a more powerful console, so why does it not have a more stable frame rate? Well, it does have to do with the higher resolution and graphics on the PS5. The more powerful PS5 and even the Series X have a higher resolution in 120 FPS mode. So 1080p on the Series S versus 1440p on PS5 or Series X. And it's not only the resolution that we're talking here. Even the graphics are better on the PS5. When you do a side by side comparison, you can see the higher amount of detail in the grass and the overall environment. Fortnite in 120 FPS mode does look visually a little better on the PS5 compared to the Series S. And that's really the reason why the lower graphic settings and the resolution on the Series S lead to a more stable frame rate. One thing I will say here when it comes to competitive gameplay, the slightly higher resolution and graphics don't really matter. If you were to play Fortnite 120 FPS on the Series S and then jump onto a PS5 back to back, you honestly won't even notice a difference. It's really only because I showed you a direct comparison that you're able to see the difference. When you're running and gunning in a fast paced online multiplayer like Fortnite, FPS is king. And for that reason, the Xbox Series S might be a better console than PlayStation 5 if all you do is play competitive Fortnite. And with that, check out some more side-by-side -side gameplay and form your own opinion. If you don't agree with what I said, well, just call me an X-Bot in the comments.